what I've learned is how to work together and we're able to communicate and figure out a way how to plan because Mrs. Burnett, she plans for all grade levels. Uh, I think she works I think K to three or I think, yeah, I think she's in the, in the younger groups. So she has like four different grade levels she has to plan for. So she, you know, can't read all of the curriculum every day. So I give her snippets of what she needs to do with them, you know, what their focus is. And without that training, I never would have been able to do that because I had no idea how to, how to effectively use the other people in my room. They just kind of showed us different teaching um, ideas, like um, one teacher teaching, another teacher, teacher helping out, um, small groups, different things like that. So they gave us different models, and then we kind of picked the model that worked best for us. Um, yeah. 508. 508. How do we say that number? 508. That's 500, zero tens, eight ones. 508. Do you have that? Very good. Yes, it means three times. So what triple means is if I have two pieces of candy, then she has three times as many. That means she has two, four, six. She would have triple. She would have six. Very good. It's a, it's a small group. So I can pull between one and five children and teach a lesson to a small group instead of a big classroom. There's 18 children in the classroom. And that's hard for one person when every single student has to have a specialized plan to, to be at their learning potential. So that's basically what I do. And then I'm constantly, like she said, we're always looking at their running records. How are they moving? Do we need to push this one more? Do we need to do this one? So we're always moving. It's the groups around. We're always judging things around so that we can get the best that we can get with the time we have. It can also be I R and U R. So you have to learn the spelling variations, but they all make the same sound. Then we have or, another R control vowel. But my personal favorite is R. I just remember that because I, I remember the pirate. So when I see this spelling pattern, the AR in it, what sound will I make? R. R. Whenever I see AR, I think about a pirate. He says R.